Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have. Hey yo, man, we got uh yo man, we got the game's brother Big Faze um suggesting that him and Diddy, yeah you know I'm saying, has some kind of funky relationship, man. We're gonna address that today. Alright? Um also the game doubling down on this whole situation with Eminem, man. Nicki Minaj condemning fake orgasms. We got Rick Ross telling women his sweat is expensive and Kodak Black breaking down economics again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey yo, if this your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that, man. That notification bell is waiting for you to tap it, so go on and give it a tap in. That subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man, so go on and touch that too, all right? Hey, yo, check this out, man. Real talk, all right? <laughs> um, uh, I, I was strolling through Celeb Source comment section today, okay? And um, in Celeb Source comment, there's someone named Minnie Chi Chi, right? Shorty updated her profile, okay? I noticed it, and I was like, oh, sh she looks pretty intelligent, right? Which reminded me of the month November, okay? And love. I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe I, I like November. I don't know why. Okay. Anyway, in a completely unrelated transition, a few months back, right, we had an artist and celeb source comment by the name of Crown Me November. Okay. This man dropped the track, which I thought was hot. So hot, I was like, hey, yo, there's a bunch of Crown Me Novembers out there in celeb source comment section with insane paintbrush skills. Translation, these cats can can do some ill music. You know what I'm saying? Ill art, all right? So I was like, hey, yo, man, let's do a battle, okay? But we got so many submissions, man, it became overwhelming. You know what I mean? Then all my five baby mamas gave birth. I ran out of time, all right? And so I didn't really do it justice. you like, yo, five, seven, all right? Seven and a half. Last one is ugly, so I, you know, I got to double check that one, okay? you like, Celeb, you got seven kids? Hey, get the hell out of here. You know I don't got seven kids, man. I'm a teacher, man. I told you that already, all right? Look at your child. You want seven of them things running around? So, so I can play detective all day talking about who moved the remote? She. Anyway, um, it's promo time. As all that to say, it's promo time, okay? Now, um, for those of y'all that are not in the know, all right? Uh, check this out. We had a lot of hot submissions last year and the year before that, okay? Um, so here's what we're going to do, man. We're going to have to do like... Um, we, uh, basically, I need y'all to pro promo some of y'all ill music, okay? If you make hot music, hot tracks or whatever, man, shoot it to us. Like, give us a link or whatever to at Celeb Source. Put it in the comment section so we can try to promo your stuff, man. I, now, we ain't promoing everything, all right? We gonna, like, there's going to be a selection, okay? And, and don't be getting mad if I don't select your joint neither, okay? I, I just want to throw that out there. Now, my day ones, you know the drill. I want the name of your song. Right, uh, you put, put it in the comment section, okay. And if you post a YouTube link, YouTube might scrap that joint. So if you want to hit me with a YouTube link, you might have to send it to celeb dot source on the gram, okay. You, I mean, look, you, you might as well follow us on the gram while you at it. It's the least you could do, okay. So uh, be sure to send out some of your music, man. We could promote that stuff. And you know me, I love competition, so I might just start pitting some of the songs against each other, asking y'all which one y'all think is hotter. Yeah, all right? That's just the way I go. All right? Well, what's my time looking like over here? All right, three minutes. Um, you're like, yo, you ain't even start yet. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Look, let me ask you a question. And if I ain't clear, just ask me in the comment section, because you know I'll be all over the comment section every day, all day, all the time. Anyway, all right? Um, if you could rewind time, would you have taken... Oh, come on, man. Really? Give me a second. Baby mama number 13. Damn it. Um, uh, <laughs> hey, yo, check this out, man. I forgot what I was talking about. I think I was talking about Kodak Black or something like that, man. Here, here's my question that I was going to ask you, right? I'm saying, like, if you could take back time, would you still have gotten into the it, that, that business degree, even though it ain't led you in the field of business? <laughs> you like, none of your business, Salad. You know what I'm saying? I, I might have you sink into a deep depression. I get it, okay? L listen, you made some bad decisions. Don't, don't don't look, don't look. You know what I'm saying? That was your best decision over there. Um, uh, I'm just joking. L listen, Kodak Black sat down with um, Full Send Podcast to elaborate a bit on the difference between a full show and playing a festival. Hey, yo, take a listen. To us, to us, great. What is like, you know, we had a tour, like, you don't make as much money as you do when you do like your one-off shows, like festivals and all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying like I charge 300k for a show. Sure. But but like for a tour, they'll be like um a hundred each show date. So it's like, man, I'm missing out on real right? bad. But it's like you gotta have our tour history. All right, for some reason, my Kodak videos don't be playing, so that one might not have played, okay? But Kodak basically said, I charge 300K for a show. But for a tour, they'd be like 100 each show. 
eight show dates. So it's like, man, I be missing out on my real bag. But it's like, you got to have tour history. Close quote. That, that man said that he makes a hundred K a show. A hundred K a a hundred K a year, and I'm a height. You know what I'm saying? Look, you'll make it to the next gas station with a hundred K, barely, nowadays, right? <laughs> you know what I could do with a hundred K, man? See, I don't know about all that, you gotta hustle, you gotta grind. I'm like, F out of here with all that, okay? I'm not so sure it plays out that way, man. You get into some investments, some stocks and options, and some options and options, right? Trading, you be making that money in, in your sleep. Providing that you're good at trading, you know what I'm saying? You, you could also do trade and go broke, all right? Um, uh, <laughs> but, but never mind all that, because, you know, when you do trading, you gotta rely on Joe Schmo to actually show up to work to make that paper. Anyway, look, this man, Rick Ross, he is out of control. <laughs> we done seen what the man did to Joe Camel, okay? Prayers up for the camel. Now, the man was in a club partying and he did this. Take a look. <laughs> did you see that nastiness, man? The man rubbed his sweaty head on her face. Then he explained himself and said this. Take a listen. Listen, ladies, when I rub this sweat on you, it's expensive sweat. <laughs> ladies, ladies, y'all heard him. When he rubs that sweat on you, <laughs> not you become rich, not you can monetize it. Ladies, when he rubs his sweat on you, you should be proud because it's expensive sweat. <laughs> you like, more like projectile vomit. Look, look, first, the man is fainting during sex. Then the Houdini bathroom disappearance, okay? The gaze that broke the camel's back. And now the man is sweating you ladies. <laughs> Literally, right? This dude is different, ain't he? <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe it's me. I don't think it is though. He don't got a driver's license. He's, he's, a, he's a different breed. I, I just, I was watching videos on um, Santorini yesterday, right? And the Rick Ross Santorini video popped up, okay? So I'm sitting there watching the video. I'm, I'm sitting there watching it with my peoples. My peoples is like, why he got that one titty just hanging all the time? I was like, why are you focused on the tit? Anyway, look, my bad. I'm just like, my bad, I ain't mean to be crass. You know what I'm saying? Cause you like, you don't tune in for crassness. Anyway, look, let's switch over to Nicki Minaj and the orgasms. Okay, this is what she said. It's a, it's a, it's a biological thing. If you're grossed out by orgasms, I don't know what the hell you was doing on the channel to begin with, okay? It's all biology, all right? Humans have orgasms, so do monkeys. Nicki Minaj, who wa wanted to inform you of some information you probably wasn't aware of, okay? Someone posted a comment to her saying, I faked so many, quote, quote I faked so many orgasms, it's not even funny. <laughs> Close quote, okay? Nicki Minaj responded and said, I have never and will never understand why women do this. How will you... How will your partner learn how to make you feel good if you aren't honest with him? <laughs> she then added, A itch like me used to give a grace period. After that, you getting cussed out every time. I, honestly, I don't think a dude cares. Like, if he got it off and now you want to cuss him out, I don't really think he cares. He probably halfway fell asleep. She, she continued to say, They figure it out real quick. Either that or peace. Right? Close quote. Now, someone else came through and while well, she was on the topic. And they was like, well, what if they come too quick? Okay? And her advice was, come quick. No, quote, come quick equals go quick. Bye, sir. Uh, unless they can go two rounds after, I'll excuse the first round because I know you excited, boo. <laughs> Close quote. Ain't she nice, man? <laughs> like, like, it's like she gave you a mercy nut. Right? Like, oh, you know, it's a mercy, it's a grace nut. You can get this one. Is it, isn't that a cereal? Oh, no, I'm thinking great nuts. The great nuts. Um, it's like a mercy nut. Like, oh, uh, you, you're, it's okay if you have your first one because you got, you know what I'm saying, you got super excited, but the next two, the next two shouldn't come anytime soon anyway. You know what I mean? It's, bio it's biology, man. Please. Don't be looking at me crazy. It's all biology. Let me go to the next story. Matter of fact, do I got shout outs? Let me do my shout outs real quick. Yeah, let me do my shout outs because. It's getting real crazy over here, man. I, look, I ain't mean to go in this direction, but this is what you want. No, no, just because you want it, I can't be giving it to you. All right, check this out, man. Shout out to Roman Mona. <laughs> my man came through and said, yo, you made me spit the cigar on the floor. Why? He said, Rosé with the 
Told you I ain't got a license? Shaking my damn head. Peace to the fam. You two been high to you. We searching. Don't stress. Give the source our best. Hey, yo, man. Thank you for that. Shout out to the source. Source be doing the heavy lifting, man. Real talk. Source be, source be doing this every single day. Do you know what it takes to edit a video? Man, you know how long that takes? I used to, I told you I used to do YouTube videos back in the days like for Dolo. Like I'm out there in the world. My face is out there and everything. You see what I'm saying? But uh, it, it took me like four or five hours all the time. Yo, Source be shooting out the videos in like four, four or five minutes. Every time. It's, it's insane. My bad. Uh, Jesus Minier came through and said, LMAO, laughed out loud with that, promote my album. Oh, he's talking from yesterday's video, all right? Um, what a world we living in. Still watch it every day, bro. You stuck now. You got a lot of people depending on your videos. <laughs> hey, yo, man. Um, yo, we appreciate that, man. Oh, and shout out to the queen, um, Queen Mo Fire, man. I think she might have been in the hospital or something like that. She was sick. She said that. You know what I mean? I ain't putting her business out there. She put it out there herself. You know what I mean? But shout out to her, man. And sis, I hope you feel better. You know we love you over here, man. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. All right? Um, um, <laughs> I was chilling, came through and said, yo, M can't cuff with Buster. Eminem can't cuff with Buster. Or Red Man. Real talk. But I like him though. He's still a beast. Okay. I love the fact that you said all of that because I believe all of it is true. Red Man is a savage. I love Red Man. Red Man was one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite artists, man, when I was a kid. But real talk. You know what I mean? Buster, Red Man, and who else? Uh Buckshot Shorty. Uh, who was the other person? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, uh of course, how can I forget Rock Kim? You know what I'm saying? Um, Mishu came through and said, is that potato salad? I said, how the hell do you know I had potato salad yesterday? It's ridiculous. Who's that coming out? Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me stay focused. Uh, is that, uh, and Keisha Hart. Keisha Hart had me on the floor, okay? Keisha Hart said, I saw a fat woman sit on a horse and the horse's back leg started to shake and shimmy. Finally, the horse fell out. <laughs> Yo, you can't make this stuff up, man. I, I see it. Can you see the shimmying leg? Can you see it shaking? <laughs> and lastly, Black Hole said, oh, oh, I see what he said. Uh, he's talking about when we talk about um, Rick Ross fainting on people. He said, how, how he died on top of me. He said, I can't believe you ain't used that clip, Celeb. What is Black Hole talking about? I know the clip he's talking about. What's the movie, the classic, where, where that happened? How he died on top of me. <laughs> Uh, I meant to add the clip, but you know, do we have the clip on deck? I don't think we got the clip. Anyway, uh, let's get right back to it and, and, and wrap this bad boy up. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got, I got, I got stuff to do, man. You know what I mean? Look how break this person is. Uh, look, listen, the game is not playing any games about what he said concerning Eminem. Okay, the man has doubled down something serious. We already done told you that. He stated that he wants to challenge M in a versus. And we also reminded you that he said years ago that can't nobody, including himself, take Eminem on lyrically. Now, a lot of artists have stated this, okay? S skip a couple of spaces to last week. He stated he could burn M. He has now doubled down and stated, nah, is Eminem better than me? Nah, he's not, bro. I think the best way to see if he is, or if I am, is Let's rap about it. Let's get up. Let's get in the studio. Let's rap about it. Let's do something. Let's put something out. Let's see. Because that's what this ish is. Let's rap. He then added, for me, I never really gave ninjas the just of who I am, the gist of who I am lyrically. I just be doing this ish because I'm skilled enough to do it. As far as some real ly lyricism, some real hip hop, real get in the studio and take the gloves off and really get it in. Y'all ninjas be having me cuffed up. I ain't even gonna lie. Y'all be having me all the way cuffed up. Who? What rapper is better than me? Even if a, this is what he said. Even if a rapper was better than me, why the cuff would I ever say another man is better than me in anything in life? Aha, aha, we got you, sir. So you've considered it. He continued on and said, I'm always striving to be the best human I could possibly be. The best rapper, the best father, the best friend. Close quote. I like that. I, I like what he said at the end. It, it, it goes to show you, like, he's really, his focus was, uh-oh, here comes Shorty. His focus was really trying to, is really trying to be the best. You're like, who is Shorty? Like, this lady in my, in my building. She's not, let me hurry up and get out of here. Uh, here's the thing. I understand what the man is saying, man, okay? And there's an aspect to what he's saying that I consider to be healthy, mentally. However, realistically, there are many things a, per a person could be better than me at 
And I'm okay with that, man, because no one started at the same point with the same background. Are you catching my drift, man? The, the only one that you could realistically and fairly match yourself up with is yourself. Because you're the only one that started at the same point with the previous you. And technically, right? The current you should be able to beat out the previous you due to the acquisition of information that you didn't have previously. The only way that I could see that not applying is in a case of speed. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, since we aging and stuff like that, you know, but still, though, different background, different exposure, different upbringing. It's 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 never an even matchup. Please don't look at my car, shorty. And finally, I got I got to control myself now. I can't be getting all hype because the lady's going to be like, yo, what the hell's going on in this car? Just don't look over here. All right. <laughs> anyway, look, the game's brother, Big Face. The man had a major issue with the game over some paper. And on Drink Champs, he highlighted that they still don't quite see eye to eye. Now, Big Faze posted and deleted a pic on a gram of the game and P. Diddy with the caption, quote, maybe it wasn't my street credibility, close quote. Now, the issue with the pic, right, is that Diddy is hugging the game from behind. But it looks more like a headlock your cousin might put you in. Are you catching my drift, man? Like, if he ain't seen you in a minute, you know what I mean? Still, what folks are trying to insinuate with the pick is kind of strange to me, man. Low key, right? Like, the headlines have been reading, because I've been seeing this headline in a couple of different places. The, headli the headlines have been reading like, oh, maybe their relationship was more than friends, because, you know, it's Diddy. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here like, really, man? Is that what we doing? Look, listen, I've been covering Celeb Source for about three years now, right? And, th and, and, this information would be coming out right now when the man just so happens to be promoting his album. I mean, come on, man. All right, like, like what's that look like? Really? Man? You know what I'm saying? Post that in the comments below. Ain't the timing impeccable to be releasing that kind of thing? You know what I'm saying? Out in the wild. Hey, yo, let us know what you think in the comments below, man. Uh, what Big Faze has posted concerning his brother uh the game like i mean what you think that's all about man i, I think i know though you know what i'm saying uh Nicki minaj um <laughs> condemning faking orga ladies is that what's going on out there is this what y'all be doing y'all be faking it jenna's jacked up no no, no they, if they're faking it they're faking it for you um <laughs> I know, I know, if you, if you listen as a couple, I feel so bad for you, because y'all be looking at each other like, no, not you, baby, I'm not thinking it with you, you know what I'm saying, when in reality, it's just like, hmm. anyway, you'll let us know what you think in the comments below, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, I'm sorry, fellas, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source, Celeb News.